Good morning. It's Tuesday, November 29th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Too Good for This World. In our scriptures, Hebrews chapter 11, where Paul writes, How much more do I need to say? It would take too long to recount the stories of the faith of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel, and all the prophets. By faith, these people overthrew kingdoms, ruled with justice, and received what God had promised them. They shut the mouths of lions, quenched the flames of fire, and escaped death by the edge of the sword. Their weakness was turned to strength. They became strong in battle and put whole armies to flight. Women received their loved ones back again from death. But others were tortured, refusing to turn from God in order to be set free. They placed their hope in a better life after the resurrection. Some were jeered at, and their backs were cut open with whips. Others were chained in prisons. Some died by stoning, and some were sawed in half, and others were killed with a sword. Some went about wearing skins of sheep and goats, destitute and oppressed and mistreated. They were too good for this world, wandering over deserts and mountains, hiding in caves and holes in the ground. All these people earned a good reputation because of their faith, yet none of them received all that God had promised. For God had something better in mind for us, so that they would not reach perfection without us. Paul, well schooled in the history of God's people, remembered the saints of ancient times. He also had a first hand knowledge of saints who were too good for this world. Many Old Testament saints and prophets were a powerful force for good, at least temporarily. By the time of Jesus' birth, there had been an absence of that kind of presence for 400 years. The new brand of prophet was an outcast. The new brand of saints were sufferers, too good for this world. Paul ends his comforting message to us with a reminder that even with no earthly resolution to the difficulties and even outright persecution we may suffer in remaining faithful to Christ, his plan for us is blessing. In the same way, Job, who suffered at the hand of the unseen enemy Lucifer, and even with the help of wise friends who sat days on end with Job's suffering, there was never an answer that quite satisfied that question we all have, why? In the end, we all must face the reality of human condition. We already know why. Truth be told, we just don't like the answer and we anguish in the search for something that lets us down gently. The reason for suffering is sin. The reason it hurts so much is merely entertaining the notion that we can do something about our problem without God only deepens and strengthens sin's hold on us. Paul expressed this frustration in his letter to the Roman church, along with the only answer that truly makes any sense in a sin-darkened world. Romans chapter 7. Oh, what a miserable person I am! Who will free me from this life that's dominated by sin and death? Thank God! The answer is in Jesus Christ our Lord. For you today. Remember this day all who suffered for the cause of faith in God. Include those who suffer today from the persecution of this world's evil ones aligned against heaven in every way. If you're among the suffering, take heart and hold faith tightly. God has something better planned for all saints. Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.